Hi, it's Coach Jim McGannon. We're here doing a podcast, and my buddy today is Ken Ernie. Ken uh, is the former athletic director at Fruport and a very good friend of mine. And we're going to discuss some quotes from Coach John Wooden. Basics is based on the philosophy of Coach Wooden. And uh, I'm really excited to have Ken here today. How are you doing, Ken? Thanks. I'm doing well. So the first quote is, again, these are comments that Coach Wooden would make to his players and to the, to the general public about their UCLA's philosophy. And the quote is, it's amazing how much can be accomplished if no one cares who gets the credit. I'm going to let Ken start off on that one. It's such a great comment. Well, it's been... Uh... A pleasure to, to both of us have interest in in Coach Wooden, and you obviously are more in depth than me. But this this hits deep because uh, in my coaching experience days, uh, I think it's really important that a coach um, deflect positive credit to his players. And uh, we all know coaches, and it's probably accurate uh, to say, and it's the right thing to do when you lose to accept the responsibility as a coach. But since a coach never gets on the field or the court, the coach never plays the game, the coach really never wins that either. And so he or she needs to definitely give credit where it's due to players. And I got to say, too, that uh, I know a lot of good coaches who teach their kids to also deflect credit when they maybe get the post-game interview with the press uh, media, they don't use the word I, and they always start the first sentence with something to do with their team. So uh, that is a quality team, a quality perspective about um, giving other people or deflecting the credit to those that help them succeed. You know, this is related to another quote. These quotes are so interwoven, and this is a wooden quote. A player who makes a team great is more valuable than a great player. So basically, that almost locks sync with this comment about um, who, who, who gets the credit. So the, the captain of my team at Dartmouth was a guy by the name of Peter Roby who was the athletic director at Northeastern for years and was just inducted into their Hall of Fame. Peter was not the best player. Peter got very little playtime, and Peter was the captain of the team. Why did the coach make this decision if the guy never played? He just did anything he could to help the team improve. He was selfless. He worked his butt off in practice. He made the team better. So it's a terrific analogy to not caring who gets the credit. I've got to also say that as an administrator, like skipped now to the uh, athletic administrator role, that, and again, it might be my makeup, my philosophy, it doesn't have to be everybody's, but that is a huge role as an administrator. Your job is to give credit and recognition and promotion to other people, whether they're successful athletes or teams or coaches, and it's your job to stay in the background do the work and and have others receive the credit. So uh, one of the most positive experiences I've had in the 25 years of being an AD is starting a Hall of Fame. And in the Hall of Fame, you are doing just that. You are giving credit to other people. And it has been so amazing, so rewarding to work your butt off and not expect it, but to deflect it. And uh, to me, that's part of that, that quote. Yeah, and then going back again to famous players and anecdotes in this regard, Bill Russell, everyone who knows basketball knows Russell and those Celtic teams in the 60s who dominated. Russell would say, it's, imp I am completely selfish, Russell would say, about the team. Mm -hmm. I am utterly selfish about the team. How unbelievable is that? So he was guarding and helpful and caring and he would pick up guys when they were down. He was selfish about the team. What a, just a wonderful comment that is. So the, I look back, the teams that I've had the most fun with, that they've been the most successful, are exactly that. Where players are all in to their teammates, to the success of others and themselves. They know the importance of that. So, yeah, that's huge in saying, looking back and saying, these were the teams that were the most memorable, the ones that were most successful. So 
that's just it. It's a brief description of one of Coach Wooden's comments. Stay tuned for the next podcast. We're going to be doing several quotes quotes from Coach Wooden and uh, look for that release. Thanks for listening.